hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to share um, my, my project that I created for this collab this is um, collab number three and this one's hosted by Luz Le Luz Rivera <laughs> and um, so every week like everyone who's participating in the collab from our group, um, PCU, everyone that's participating, um, each week a different person that's participating gets to host, host the project for that week and they get to pick, you know, what project we're going to do. So this week is Luz and she chose to, for us all to do an, to alter something, do an altered project. So that's what I did, and I will go ahead and show it to you. So, here it is. <laughs> um, let me take all this stuff out. So, as you can see, it's holding a bunch of stuff. Um, like right here, I have Mod Podge, glossy accents, um, different paints. These are all the glues that I use, like all the time, and this wouldn't fit in there, so I just put it on the tray down here, and this is um, E6000, and, and this one has all the brushes and everything that I use for glue, or, you know, whatever. This is a palette for, I think it's called a palette, I'm not sure, but it has gesso on it. Uh, I, didn't, I haven't cleaned it off yet, but that's what I use it for is gesso. And then all these little sponge things that I use for glue and then some brushes. So I really needed, the reason I chose to make this is because I really needed something to um, store like my glues and stuff to be on my work surface so that I can reach them. And the, the storage solution that I had before was this basket that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's really flimsy and it wasn't really doing that good of a job it kept falling over and yeah it it just was not working so I realized that you know anything round fits in these cans really good so I'll go ahead and take these out okay so I have taken everything out so you can see it better so um, as you can see, it's three cans. This one was a Pringles can. This one was a baby formula can. And this one was a, was a peanuts can. So, and this one, um, I wanted it to look kind of interesting. So I put a candlestick from the Dollar Tree. I put that on there and thought it looked really cute. And this tray is also from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have a round one here. I was going to use this, but they all didn't really fit on here. And I wanted it to fit, like, where I want it to go. So I'll show you. So it goes right here in this area. And it fits, um... Let me move this stuff. And it fits really nicely. Like that. But um, I, tur I turn it like this because so I can get to all my glues that I use all the time. So this is really nice. I am really happy with it. Okay, there we go. So, what I did, okay, everything is glued on here with E6000. So, I painted the cans white. Well, first I put gesso on them because some parts are metal. Like, this can is completely metal, as you can see. This one is not. It's just metal on the bottom. But, um, I just painted them all with gesso. And then painted them with white, um, paints white acrylic paint and this paint isn't just regular white acrylic paint this is um enamels which means it um 
okay dishwasher safe um it can you can paint glass with it so if it has that on the top then um that means you can paint with paint glass or metal um, let me see what it says glass and ceramics <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, I, it works on metal too, so I use that, and it's really, really thick. I would not use this kind of paint for just regular, you know, everyday painting, because um, it is super thick. I had to scoop it out with like a, with something, just so I could get it out. Like, it's not runny at all. It's really thick. So I primed everything with gesso and painted it white with that paint, and then... I um, decoupage this paper on here, and this paper is on a roll, and it is um, almost 15 inches, like, this way. Um, so I used this, and the reason I used that is because I had built a shelf for my area, and it is over here and I'll show you that in a minute but I want it to match so yeah and I covered the cans with it I put a piece on the bottom of this tray and I did the same with the tray covered it in gesso and painted it white and the bottom I didn't I didn't paint with white like here's a spot where I rubbed off like the extra I had but nobody's ever going to see the bottom, so I'm like, I'm just not going to waste my time. And I put little feet on there, and I was going to paint these white too, but it's just for me, and nobody's going to see the bottom, so yeah. So this works really good. I, I really love it. I had my doubts at first, but I really love how this came out. And everything fits really good in here. Um, you can do like you can do this with like any size cans it, and like any configuration you want, however you want it to look. And I I really love it. I think it turned out great, and it's a great storage system. So that's what I do. And then I'm going to scoop this back up off to the side there. And I will show you my little shelf that I made. Okay, so this is the shelf that I made. And you can't really see the top of, top of it. Oh, there it is, yeah. I had to kind of maneuver to get it in here because of this little lip right here. It didn't really go in, so yeah. But it, I mean, it fits perfect under that little lip, and it still has room. So, I don't know if you notice, but I, this is my kitchen. I have my workspace in my kitchen because I have a very small house. But I do have this long counter space where I just do all my crafting and... It, it is it does suck I don't really have a lot of space but I'm trying to make it work <laughs> um, so I really needed more space and shelving to store my stuff over here so it wasn't all a mess and all over the place and I could have it within reach so this is like all the stuff that I want to get to like all the time when I'm crafting so here is like all my flowers and stuff and these acrylic drawers I got from the Dollar Tree and I just have my Tim Holtz um, inks in there and I haven't put anything really in this spot I still have an open space for whatever I want to store there and then these big this big shopping space in the middle um, I have these little bins, a um, bunch of lace, 
that I like to use more of these little shelves or drawers I mean and these are just like extra cuts for when I'm die cutting and these are like little embellishments and things that I want to use and up here in this little bin I just have some lace some more lace and down here I need to spray paint this or get a different color one but this is um, a bunch of lace that I ordered so I just I really love lace <laughs> so I have a bunch of it over here and this I you of course has all my distress inks that I use like all the time and the other inks that I use all the time and some of my blenders and over here is all my metals so there's like filigree and some charms and stuff like that and there's some keys over here so that is that shelf and I created this out of foam board so you see that's why I, I use that paper to do um, this little storage thing here to match this shelf and yeah you can hardly believe that I made this out of foam board like right here on the sides you can see it's like wider than the shelves because I used two pieces a foam board and glued them together on the sides and on the bottom to make it more sturdy and on the top I just oh where's my hand <laughs> on the top I just use one and on the little dividers I in the shelves I just use one but what I did was I wrapped them all in that paper in this paper right here before I assembled everything so I cut all the pieces and everything and then I wrapped them all um, and glued glued every inch of the paper onto the foam board and I didn't really have a lot of Mod Podge left at the time so I just used the rest of the Mod Podge that I had and then used um, like turbo tack tacky glue to do the rest and I think all the glue made it more sturdy and um on the side here you can see that there's like pins I hammered in little pins like into the shelves right here each shelf and divider is hammered in with pins so that made it ten times sturdier and the back you can see oh crap um the back it has a piece of foam board but I didn't um I didn't wrap it in the paper or anything because I just wanted it to be white and so yeah it, it's really sturdy like this thing is really sturdy I'm gonna make some more of these because I mean, it is a lot of work and it's time consuming. Well, it actually took me like three days. I thought it was going to take me longer, but it only took me like three days and I wasn't working on it like nonstop or anything. So it didn't take me that long, but it, it's very, very useful. And I really, really love it. <laughs> like I'm really proud of myself for that. So now I have my storage for my glues that I'll use all the time and my other stuff and since this is my kitchen this is um some more of my stuff that I store up here and this is another one that I made this right here so you can see it's holding my sorry about that my memory got full so I just delete some videos but anyways um, you can see that it's holding my, where I put my phone to record videos, to record down here. So I just, this is so heavy that I just tuck it underneath there. Um, see if I can move some stuff. 
so that we can see better. Ugh, there we go. And let me move this. Okay, so this holds all of my sprays. And this I made out of cardboard. And it is really, really sturdy. Um, it also has feet on the bottom. So that the bottom doesn't get dirty. And um, it, it holds a lot. I thought that um, I wasn't going to have enough room for all my sprays. But surprisingly it holds all of them. So, yeah. And I covered it with um, some Heidi Swap paper. And I wrapped, all, since it's cardboard, you know, it has those edges like when you cut it. Um, I wrapped those, or put cardstock over because I didn't want those showing. But this thing is super sturdy. That's why, that's what made me create that shelf because of how sturdy this was and how useful it is. Um... So yeah, I'm really glad <laughs> I am just I don't have the money to buy Actual shelving units, you know from like Ikea or wherever like I don't have the money for that. I have three kids so I Have to make my own <laughs> So all right, that is my Little project there um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will leave all the links to all the other people that are doing the collabs, so please go check out their channels and see what all they made. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, that really helps me out. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.